Earth, our home planet. This planet has four major subsystems that works in harmony to provide a hospitable habitat for life to thrive. And one of them is the little sphere. Little sphere is simply the sphere in which all life form tends to exist and survive. This is the place where you will see plants are growing, houses are built, and mountain ranges are formed. But as the years pass, humans have changed the face of the earth more than any other species, and the pace of change is increasing. Our most obvious impact is on our little sphere, where more than 80% of Earth's surface has been marked by human activity. These transformations go back at least to the beginning of agriculture more than 10,000 years ago. Let's discuss about how we humans affect and destroy our little sphere. Trees are vital. As the biggest plants on the planet, they give us oxygen, store carbon, stabilize the soil, and give life to the world's wildlife. They also provide us with the materials for tools and shelter. But humans keep on cutting down trees for their own benefit. And this process is called deforestation. Deforestation is a process whereby natural forests are cleared through logging or burning either to use the timber or to replace the area for alternative uses. As you can see, the forest stills cover up about 30% of the world's land. Deforestation can impact the lithosphere by damaging the quality of the land. World's rainforests could completely vanish in hundreds of years at the current rate of deforestation. Also, loss of habitat for millions of species. 70% of earth animals live in the forest. Extreme temperature due to the removal of trees and the fewer forests there are, the larger amount of greenhouse gases. But we can stop deforestation by stop cutting down trees. We can carefully manage forest resources by eliminating clear cutting. And if they were to cut down trees, the cutting should be bad. Agriculture is very important to many people, especially to those who are in rural places. This is where they get their living. And of course, this is where we get the foods that we need every day. Uh, mahalaga ng pagtatanim dahil dito lang kakaaling ang mga Anihan natin ang pagkain ng mga tao Kapagkat ito ay nutrition ng mga tao dahil tapat dyan sa vitamina at pagkain ng pagkain ng tao Kung hindi ka magtatanim ay wala kang aasahan Kung kailangan magtanim ka ng marami Tanim ka ng tanim Agriculture is very essential to everyone including the animals, plants, and also the human. 
but it can also damage our lives and also our literacy. Agriculture, also called farming, husbandry, is the growing of both plants and animals for human resources. This thing can make a large impact on our literacy if we don't practice the proper exercises and things we must do. Agriculture impacts the leadosphere positively and negatively. For example, if farmers were to use pesticides, it could cause lakes to be polluted by runoff that carries the pesticide. It can contaminate soil and affect soil fertility. There can also be a major erosion of that soil. There can also be a major erosion. Here are some examples of destroying the lithosphere through excessive use of pesticides. And these are the effects of it. Agriculture can also cause overgrazing. Another factor that affects the litosphere is the overgrazing. Overgrazing occurs when plants are exposed to intensive grazing for extended periods of time, or without sufficient recovery period. It can be caused by poorly managed agricultural application or overpopulation of wild animals. It reduces the usefulness, productivity, and biodiversity of the land, and is one cause of major problems of the litosphere, which is desertification and erosion. But always put into our minds that there is always a solution in every problem. We can prevent agriculture from affecting our litosphere by refraining farmers from using pesticides and exercising the proper ways in doing it. And through this, we can lessen overgrazing. We can also prevent overgrazing by proper management of animals and land use. And of course, we must always work hard in keeping the 4 meter cell system away and safe from home because it cannot work properly without each one of them. As David Bailey said, humanity is the most intelligent species on the planet capable of anything but is governed by its aggression and youth a species that is fast in developing but is slow in maturing a period of ignorance and neglect has had profound effects across the world. Effects that can be reversed if nature is given the time to repair the damage. Remember, we only 